When working with dogs, there's always inherent risk. Urban Dogs LLC is not responsible for damages to any person, animals, or property by those attempting these procedures. Hello, my name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a certified dog trainer and behavior technician. In this video, I'll be discussing and demonstrating desensitizing and counter conditioning a dog with leash reactivity. This session you're observing is one I recently did with Lucy. She's a one and a half year old female American pit bull terrier, and she's a rescue dog that's been living in her new home for eight months. Her new human companions report her main issue to be reactivity towards running and screaming children in view or simply when hearing them. However, she will orient and potentially react to skateboards, barking dogs, sudden environmental contrasts in general, also may have her react by barking and lunging. In addition to Lucy's potential reactivity, we also discussed walking on a loose leash, general attentiveness, scent motivation, and leash mechanics for humans. This session took place on November 20th, 2011 in Red Bank, New Jersey, with Lucy's owners filming on the flip camera. There were no setups or definitive criteria related to distances or durations prior to the session. What you are witnessing is what happened in real time. these kids are coming she doesn't okay the other thing that I have at my advantage is I've got environmental blocking with these bushes and I can gain the proper distance so follow me side fast mechanics and timing did she look like she wanted to react she did okay next time that happens I won't use any food I'll stand there we'll see if she reacts right, <laughs> right? she wanted to react you can see it she wanted to go over threshold why didn't she fast reinforcement that's all you can get the yes and treat out fast enough you can keep her under threshold 
And that's a pretty, I mean, that's a kid. It's a stroller. We got lucky because we didn't have screaming running kids. But that's great. We don't want to always have screaming running kids. We want some kids that are mellow. Based on that, we can do lots of setups with kids and really get her focused on the right stuff. All right. You did good, hon. You did good. there's a big circumference that we can have, like a big outer area. So we'll have plenty of distance okay. and plenty of escape routes. She did great back there. That was great. Now if the kids started yelling and screaming, I would have had to create more distance. I would have raised my rate of reinforcement if the stimulus got intense. But any time you can get that exact scenario where there's a kid passing, you can yes and treat her. It's one more experience that teaches her kids equal good things happen. Okay? Mm -hmm. if, that's, if, if, if that's simple in theory, in practice, it's, you know, it's a little difficult sometimes. But you got to practice. And the fact that you have a backyard with kids right next to you is a perfect opportunity to do this. Mm. All right, leave that. It's kind of Come on. Oh. 
What we're going to do is we're going to hang out over here. Okay. We're going to go around the outside, and I'm always going to give myself an out, whether it's behind a car, create some kind of distance. So when you set this up for yourself, right here with this little girl, see, watch.
Those kids were doing all the things. They were running. They weren't screaming. Yeah, that. But that. they were running, and there's lots of them. And there are a couple of kids that walked towards her. You saw her get a little like, mm -hmm. uh-oh. But as long as you're keeping the rate of reinforcement up, she's going to understand that kids equal good things happen. Mm -hmm. It's when you don't have the rate of reinforcement or when you just sort of, hey, cut it out, hey, cut it out, that the dog starts to spill over and get it aggravated. Mm -hmm. She did great. And she had a couple of moments on the street with kids that were like, especially the second one where we ducked into that driveway. I mean, you know, they were like right there coming towards her, so... She's got a good threshold. I mean, she's not, you know. I, the feeling is, my feeling is that you guys have just, it's the, those beginning seconds where it's starting to happen. You're not reinforcing. You're just going through some sort of a hey, no, cut it out or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then she's just getting frustrated. And, and, you know, it's all about getting that reinforcement in as fast as possible. shorten up my leash and what I'm going to do this time as opposed to marking and paying her is I'm just going to put a piece of food on her nose and just get her right by. What she got? It's okay. Uh, it's all right. Wishbone. She had a wishbone. <laughs> it's okay. I think that's the first chicken bone she's ever tasted. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be the last. This is also probably the most urban setting she's ever been in her entire life, as far as I know. Okay. Well, we got to get her out to more urban settings. We yeah. Gotta, we got to get her more exposure to kids with reinforcement. Okay. I'm gonna take the opportunity to do that right now. She wants me to hear her. Hit or miss. Right, not exposed to too many. But still, even if even if you're not seeing the dog react to a skateboard, you take the opportunity to yes and treat so that the next skateboard mm. is even less likely to cause a reaction. Mm. Remember, weird pictures for dogs are not necessarily yes. fixated on the roller skater. Yep. Yes, and she's like, yeah, what do you want? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm 
that's a dog who's figuring out all these things that are potentially vexing equal good things happening. Trains like a drop in a bucket. <laughs> Super smart. I wish they could all be like this. Mm. Oh, I'm serious. Okay. 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 So you see when I do start stop, right? Okay. When it goes limp, she goes. If she jets, we stop. Stays limp, we go. Okay, easy. When I start her out on a short lead, and I'm gonna incrementally allow it based on good walking. I'm gonna use my environment. I can see through here, nothing's coming, I'm good. Wait. Okay. Oh, right. good girl.